Hi, welcome back to a new video. Now, this video takes place over the span of around about two months, but it starts off with the delivery of a box. Day two. So the first glimpse that I had of what was in the box was a day that I took it to a place to work portable at a place called High Audish with some friends of mine. Uh, and I got it up the hill and I started doing the video to explain what was in it and all that kind of stuff. And then I realised that there was a particular part that I'd forgotten. I won't go into the boring detail. There is a video. If you'd like to see the video, click at the top of the page and then you can watch that as well. Day three. So we're going to get the Moxon out, assemble it on the table here and maybe, you never know, get it up in the air and start working on it. So let's have a look at how easy it is. Later. One of the things that I commented on in my previous video was um, the quality of the instructions, but they all come bagged up. And again, another thing that you can just get a sense of quality is the thickness of the bag. Get a feeling that everything is just going to be good quality. All of the accessories, guy lines, Jubilee clips, everything's in, in here, individually bagged individually labeled so you can see here a and b so this is what it's supposed to look like so these two items here are these two items here a few moments later the instructions and the quality of the fixings are absolutely excellent eventually i've got the moxon up uh, just temporary you know this is just in the garden the plan isn't to have it fixed in the garden permanently. Uh, this is uh, this is just an area for portable use, hopefully. Three weeks later. So we're here in Wales. So my call sign is Mike Whiskey Zero X-Ray Mike X-Ray, and I'm operating portable. I'm in the motorhome, as you can see, and uh, the view is absolutely spectacular. Ted's flaked out with his green dragon, which I thought was very very apt for coming to Wales. It's a bit windy today, it's not such a nice day that it's been for the last few days, so I'm, uh, I'm playing a bit of radio. So I've got the FT-857 and I'm using this new logging software that I've uh, been using for the last few weeks. Uh, it's called TYQSL, uh, it's a web-based software and, and I love it to be honest. So. I've been playing a little bit of 10 meters over the last um, couple of days and you'll see there's a contest going on I think at the moment, Brazil contest, so just today I've just knocked out a few Brazilian contacts. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying using the um, 10 meter Moxon antenna. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you loving 10 meters. Mexico Whiskey Zero X-Ray Mexico X-Ray Portable. Mike Whiskey Zero again. Mike Whiskey Zero X-Ray Mike X-Ray Portable. Mike Whiskey Zero X-Ray Mike X-Ray Portable. Five nine. I've played a bit of um, phone now, and we're now going to look at FT8 using the Android app, which is called FT8 CN. I've got no physical connection between the Android tablet and the uh, radio. It's just literally coming out the speaker into the microphone. Um, and then when I want to transmit, literally I key up the microphone. Or I can put the, the radio on Vox. So let's see if we can make an FT8 contact with one of these stations. Ah, maybe he's replied to me there, actually. Yes. Okay, so Argentina. 
There you go, there's one for the logbook. See what will be interesting, let's just have a quick look on PSK Reporter. Wow, that is phenomenal. I have never ever had um, reception like this. I mean, literally, I've been on, don't know, 15 minutes maybe? Well, it says there, so 15 minutes. The next day. Right, it's blowing around a little bit. Um, it is fairly windy today, but you'll see. Moxham's doing a great job. Really is built to last, this area is. Um, using it portable is uh, you know, no problem to it whatsoever. But I am going to get it down now because uh, I don't want my pole to break. So anyway, thanks very much to Mike from Seacom for sending me this lovely aerial. I will definitely put it to good use. Right, so I've got it down. I'll just give you a little bit of a close-up and also a bit of a laugh. Um, I forgot any kind of choking system, so I just made this hash up of an air choke. Just wound roughly eight turns of coax around a plastic beaker. Whether it's worked or not, I don't know, but uh, it, it definitely hasn't uh, harmed it. But as you can see, this is a really good quality antenna. The fixings, um, everything that you can see here, with the exception of the pole and the feeder, um, was supplied by Mike at Seacom. Uh, and it's, it's a really, really good quality product, it really is. Thanks very much for watching, and uh, until next time, 7-3. Yes.